Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Transported from the J&J &J airport to the Zamsa Central Warehouse using the Zambia National Service Trucks. This exercise is expected to finish within 10 to 15 days. As indicated earlier, this contract was CIF Lusaka. Madam Speaker, when the Ministry became fully aware of the issue, Zamsa was called to the Ministry to thoroughly review the matter. At this stage, it was clear to us in the Ministry that the whole gross mismanagement and negligence bordering on possible criminality so, <clears throat> so um, I have um, been uh, listening to Sylvia Masebo's uh, statement in Parliament and uh, believe it or not, I've actually listened to that statement three times, three times uh, to make sure that I understand her, I understand the issue. And uh, quickly, I must say that um, I'm a bit disappointed with uh, the members of parliament. I think uh, they could have done better in taking Sylvia Masebo to task. I, I think they could have done better. The issue of them being gagged that this issue is being investigated, uh, I don't think uh, members of parliament should have just stopped there because what form of communication did they have that this, this uh, uh, issue is being investigated? What form of communication did they have from the investigative wings? Because they just took Sylvia Masebo's word that she had reported this matter to the uh, investigation authority, but she did not state exactly which investigation uh, uh, wing she reported this matter to. So, uh, you know, the, the members of parliament uh, not going on to ask questions on this one, I think uh, they could have done better on that one. Anyway, um, I want to just give a notice. I want to give a notice that 20 hours, I want to come back to this issue and discuss it, you know, step by step. And I mean step by step because this issue started some time back. This is an issue that uh, started um, as far back as uh, 2022. Uh, some of you who have been following me, you would remember that I had serious accusations on uh, Honorable Sylvia Masebo relating to this Egyptian deal. I brought out serious issues, which issues were not taken. But now, what you have, what you are having right now, these are the fruits of the corruption that was sworn in 2023 because this is when this deal was signed in 2023 this deal went through in spite of what some of us spoke about as a result of uh, uh, the corruption that happened now we have we have a child or children in that corruption that was sworn in 2023 basically we can say last year this is as a result of the corruption that was started back then and now it has it has it has bored uh fruits these are the fruits the, 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 the 69 million that you are talking about 
is the fruit of the corruption that was planted uh, last year. It started in 2022, and uh, it was it, it it went through in 2023, and now we are having the fruits. Who started all this? Who started this? It is Sylvia Masebo. The person that started this, it is Sylvia Masebo, supported by President Akainde Ichilema. Supported by President Akainde Ichilema. Fully supported by President Akainde Ichilema. We have a number of people that have bent their fingers uh, because they tried to stop this corruption, uh, the Egyptian deal. They tried to stop it. We have Magwede, we have... Um, uh, we have uh, uh, Billy, we have um, uh, who else? We have even Professor Kas uh, Kasonka. Some, these are some of the people that bent their fingers. That bent their fingers. Because President Haka Indechilema was in full support of what Sylvia Masebo was doing. The illegal things, the corruption that was Sylvia Masebo was doing. And that is why we have so many people who were fired, some of them who were, you know, uh, removed from their positions because of this huge corruption. And now it has bought its fruit, its child. And this is the 69 uh, million that you are talking about. It is uh, coming from there. I will explain it at 20 hours. I will make sure that, you know, I, I take a good rest just now. I take a good rest so that at that time, my brain will be working well and I'll be able to uh, explain to you why I'm saying the corruption, this corruption started back then with Sylvia Masebo and it cannot end without Sylvia Masebo. Sylvia Masebo can go to parliament and, you know, try to exonerate herself, try to speak like she's so, she's so innocent. No, she's not. She's not. But Sylvia Masebo, you started this. You started this. And it cannot reach at this point without you. You are the one that started it. And it is here because of you. We'll talk about it at 20 hours. For now, I will make sure that I prepare myself for 20 hours. Please, tune in at 20 hours and listen to what I have to say on this issue. I will talk about other issues later on, but this one, I'm handling it at 20 hours. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.